Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Scara, and I'm gonna be playing the Stanley Parable. I've seen this, this game we play. Of a man named okay. Stanley. Stanley, which is me. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Best number ever. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He, he sat, sat at his, his desk, desk in room four two seven, and, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push. Them. Sounds like a very exciting job. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might Never has a day off? Sold, That's sad. Stanley relished every moment. He relished every moment? No, I don't. I don't think I do. Exactly. I think I'm uh, tired of this lousy Stanley job. Was happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy! And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Yeah. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say Everyone's Hi. gone. Never they all quit this stupid job. Had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped yeah. out of his office. Yeah, the clock works. Anyways. All nope, his no one's here. Gone. What could it mean? It Stanley decided to go to, to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed Figure this mind. out. There's no one here. I'm all alone. I need companionship. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. You know what? I'm gonna follow your orders. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust you on this one. Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for Feeling not getting fired. Talk less. Belief. Do unbelievably Stanley amazing work all the time, every day, with no ex. Hoping what? Might find okay. an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on the other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Yep, that sounds about right. How the working world works. Not how I do it, but whatever. What do people want? Things. Money, more money. Things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs. Or, I mean, graphs? Graphs about money plus things. We have our new products. Okay. I'm done with this room. There's no one in it. Room closet. Can I open doors? I cannot. Oh, I can! I'm in a broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Really? There's nothing in here? Can I touch anything? Broom. Okay. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. You know, I'm gonna stay no in this broom closet. Seem to be pissing off the narrator. Come at me, bro. Come at me. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't <laughs> even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> just, just standing here. See how mad you can are you, get. Are you really still in the broom closet? <laughs> Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. It's my life. I can do what I want with it. Don't judge me. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? <laughs> if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story What? So I'm pretty ever. entertained. I never would have thought to mention it. Okay, one more and then uh, I'll leave. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, <laughs> you'll say, Ow! Did you get the broom closet ending? The, the broom, broom closet, closet ending, ending was, was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. You know, I'm not gonna waste time. I don't know how much, how many other things he's gonna say in there, so I'm just gonna go. 
Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, no, you criticize my broom closet adventure. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm not listening to you. Criticizing my life choices. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be no one's here. That. Boss wouldn't and be here. Okay. Economy, I see what's happening. If I see that car again. If I see that car again. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. No. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for okay. no reason no. at all. Okay, no. Hallways are repeat. Okay, there's sense. the there's the car. And a Can I go? This, oh. He began to make other strange observations. I can't go Resume. back. Okay. Why couldn't he see his feet when he went down? Why did doors close? I don't have any feet. It's like it's weirder in the Oculus Rift matter, when you don't have these feet. These rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Uh, you well, literally don't see your own body. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found okay. the words for it. I'm dreaming! This is almost as exciting as the broom closet dream. adventure. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt. Jeez. To have finally I'm just gonna keep going. An answer, an explanation. I can't go back yet, can his I? His co-workers no. were actually gone. He wasn't you have to wait till the job. end of the he wasn't his little monologue. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I can't jump. Go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, hey. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. Had oh, wow. Okay. It was so much fun. And Stanley yeah. marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything? Yeah, you know what? I should be asking that question. Now the voice was describing itself so being considered by Stanley. Stanley <laughs> who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Okay, and that's a confusing thing. I wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How and am I on drugs? Because I just went in space. If I'm Believing not asleep, if he's then. Asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. I am. Now, hearing the voice confused. speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars yeah. just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? Drugs. This voice was a part Drugs of himself bad too. Case. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Oh my god! That this was a this dream. This car, dude! So These he hallways, man! Gently, and he invited himself to oh, wake up. Oh, okay. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress, the mattress on his, on his back. back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wait. Is there a broom closet ending? That's what I'm wondering now. I'm through with this dream. <laughs> I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Is that the end? Please. It's all I want. That's boring. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. It's boring. At least my get a new job. My normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I be normal. I am okay. No, is that the end? Is that my playthrough? No. Okay, good. I'm awake. I defy you, voice in my Stanley head. Stanley began screaming. Please, no. someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, Ooh. just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> this is intense. Psychological breakdowns. Oh. Okay. This is the story of a woman named what? Mariella. No, this is about Stanley. Who's Mariella? Mariella? Woke up on a day like any other. What? 
She arose, got dressed, gathered her protagonist change to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled <laughs> through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Okay, I'm crazy. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look They look like dead people and lying on the ground. Moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am saying no. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real That's boring. and what isn't. I went into it space. To think this. Normal, sane people do not go into space. I went to space in my head. I hear a narrator that's pretty bomb. Very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, Sounds like the, the rest of her little life. big planet guy. She had no Is time it? For this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring really think down at the body. And then she turned and ran. She ran. Is that the end? This is so confusing. They keep lying to me, kitty. The end is never the end is never the end. Okay, that, that answers my question now. It's like, is this the end? The end is never the end. Oh, what? What? Okay. Okay, then I will stop this video. That was my first official playthrough of the Stanley Parable. Next up, find out if there's a broom closet ending. Actually, I'm going to. Like, right after this. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna try to come out with more videos soon. And be more talkative. It's, I didn't expect it be, to be so awkward to talk to yourself. Like, there's no one here. I'm just talking to myself. But technically, people are gonna watch it. But all I have is my cat here. So, I don't know. I feel awkward. So, anyways, I'll get better at it. Subscribe. Bye-bye.